Hey, it's Rob from Fandroid.com. I'm here with the G1, and we're going to talk a little about Android's uh, UI interface or um, display, whatever you want to call it. So the most obvious thing here is that it has three screens. So you can swipe to the left, swipe to the right. So there's plenty of room to organize all the information, applications, and useful things that you could possibly want. On your main home screen, obviously, you're probably going to want to use the things you use the most, the browser, Gmail, uh, messaging, whatever. So if you want to customize the screen, all you have to do is long press, which means you hold down on it, and you can add application, shortcuts, widgets, and wallpaper. So let's go ahead and add an application, and let's add the Amazon MP3 store. So we just press that, and it's now on our desktop. Now to customize where this is or to, to change where it is, you're just going to hold down the application, and now you've got access to move this around. We can put it up here and so you don't want it there anymore you want to throw it away hold it down again and drag it into the trash can you can see that's red let go and it'll be gone so let's hold down again and we'll cl close that box and see we can add shortcuts one of the coolest shortcuts you can add in my opinion is a folder um, because once you start downloading applications there's going to be so many useful ones you're going to have even three screens isn't going to be enough and if it is it's not going to be very organized so say I want one folder complete for my games I can open this and you see it's just called folder right now but if I hold down you can rename the folder so I'm gonna rename the folder games Oops. and you can see now it's called games and I can add something to my desktop We'll add one of my favorite games on here, which is Bonsai Blast. So we press that, and now it's directly next to it. Hold it down. Whoops, did I get a hold of it? Looks like not. There we go. And put it in. You can see the folder opens, or maybe you can't. The folder opens. Whoops, I missed it. Folder opens, and we just drop it right in there. So we can also add another one, simple game that's pretty cool balls to the wall so we'll drop it in there excuse me and now you can see on our games folder we've got two games in there so I could fill this whole thing up with tons of games and it really just helps organize my information so I don't have a billion games lying all over the place so we can close that oops that's one thing I'll, that you just saw is sometimes when you're trying to press links on the home that are close to the edge and applications that are close to the edge it thinks that you're trying to swipe between screens so that's one thing that can kind of be a hassle or a pain I mean it's not nothing big just see there you go but just a slight irritation so that's one small complaint that I have with the UI um, let's see what else we can add to the home screen so let's minimize that we can add widgets so the clock is probably the one you've seen the most and uh, you can obviously change where this is as well I don't really like the clock widget and the reason is because in the upper right hand corner it displays the time there anyway and so this is kind of for display I mean I'm just gonna look I don't want to do the work of figuring out what time it is call me lazy or stupid but I'd rather just look in the upper right hand corner and know what the time is so I'm gonna throw that away um, we also have a picture frame which is pretty cool so you can take any picture that's been on your phone or your desktop whether it's album art or pictures that you're taking and it's taking a little bit to load but here's a picture that I have here of an unnamed person that I drew with one of the applications in Android so you can crop it and put it where you want to and save it oops and you can see now it's on your desktop so this is kinda cool for I think parents would love to use this where um, instead of you know in your wallet having your pictures you have a screen that has your kids on there your family on there your loved one on there and you can move where this is as well so kinda cool probably not something I would use but neat nonetheless um, you can ask add search which is pretty neat because say I'm like oh I want to do a Google search instead of opening up your browser and going through that you just click on there swing it open 
do your Google search for say Fandroid and it's gonna search for Fandroid oops I searched for Pandroid son of a gun and someone is redirected apparently so that's something new you learn something new every day someone is benefiting from Fandroid.com typos um, okay let's go back to the home screen hello there we go okay now let's see what else we can add here so let's put this in the trash just to clean our home screen a little bit long press um, were there any other widgets that we wanted to show no those were the mains and then we can add wallpaper or change wallpaper um, we can add from Flickr, from pictures that we've taken ourselves, or from the wallpaper gallery that comes preloaded. The wallpaper gallery that comes preloaded is really kind of neat. Um, here's kind of more of a dismal one. You just press set wallpaper. And you can see it's like a abandoned kind of scene. It's neat because it scrolls the width of the picture and you see different things as you're seeing the icons, but it it moves at a different excuse me pace as the icons do and just gives it a nice real 3D feel um, so those are the main ways you can customize the home screen now that's left and right on the top here you have this status bar which this is the Wi-Fi right there um, it shows how many bars you have your battery life and the time if you press the status bar you'll see the date comes up in the upper left hand corner Oops, I held it down, but you can see the date there, now it's October 19th. But really the point of the status bar is you pull it down and it sh shows you everything that's currently going on. So I recently downloaded the Translate application from the market. Um, if you have a new text message, a new email, um, applications running and stuff like that, they'll all appear here in this tray. I accidentally pressed on that but that's now going to open up the translate application so it's kind of cool because it gives you a running list of what's going on and when something new happens you can easily slide this down and get to it uh, at the bottom the same way you can slide up so uh, this brings up pretty much the all the applications that you have in alphabetical order and you can just scroll through them and get to what you need to so you don't really have to like pull this you could just press it and it does it although you can you know it I mean it's up to you but so that is that what else do we have to say about the user interface one thing that kind of bothers me is to um, try and give you a unbiased point of view is that say you're d using a search widget and a lot of people have talked about this how there's no there's no visual QWERTY keyboard on the touch screen so if I want to do a Google search for dog you know I might just want to type did do dog really quick and go but I actually have to open the keyboard which can be a pain if you know you just want to do something quickly you want to type in a username or password you want to do a quick search you've only got one hand available um, so it kind of limits you and it would be my guess that a third-party developer could make a on-screen QWERTY keyboard that works with other applications. I'm not positive about that, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it pop up. 